Got a question in the Dune Rider coaching group. What time is it? It's question time. Um, can eating too much sugar dehydrate you? Since I've increased my sugar, I'm noticing slight headaches. Great question. Let's break it down. Can eating too much sugar? What is too much sugar? I guess very vague, vague, vague question. Common question, but very vague. Again, not having to go here, just saying, just so we can really get objective versus subjective. Objective meaning one, two, three, four. Subjective meaning give me a bunch of numbers, you know. Uh, so subjective is, it was this this sort of big, like that big. Objective is it was 17.7 centimeters by four or five inches. Um, no, I'm not talking about any fans. Get your mind out of the gutter. Can eating too much sugar dehydrate you? When you increase your sugar intake, yes, you you many people notice their cortisol drops. Right, sugar decreases cortisol, and with a decrease in cortisol, our testosterone can go up. Also, what we notice with the increase in sugar consumption is our muscles. They get fuller, they feel more tight and just pumped. So that will want the body to crave more water to help our muscles, you know, have more pump and definition and ability. So yes, water uh, requires sugar, sugar requires water. And that's why when you do low carb or run out of carbs, you get dehydrated, your kidneys get under pressure. And you can, when you go into ketosis, you become in a very, in a very acidic state because ketones are an acidic form of energy production as a backup source of energy, but they are very acidic. And so you can leach calcium and leach water from your body to neutralize that acidity, etc. So you gotta be careful with that. But anyway, the question is, does sugar incre increase dehydration? No, you're just not drinking enough water. You know, but like when I've, when I've jacked my testosterone really, really high, my craving for water, my thirst can go up. You know, like my, my, my need for water goes up. That's because the testosterone increase when I've not, you know, my testosterone is like you know, just crazy, crazy high. Uh, the, the drive for water is higher for sure because you just can store more glycogen. You store more glycogen in your muscles, so you need to drink more water when you're on uh, when your testosterone is really, really up there. So yeah, this is this is a common one when you do more, have more sex, when you're winning in life, when you're more productive, when you're just crushing it. You need more water. Not more water, but we need enough water. Because more water could be a, a couple of days. I'm having more water, but that's not enough. Right? We just, we always in life, it's all about having enough. Okay? Not more, enough. Because more hugs and more sleep might not be enough. You always want to focus on enough, enough, enough carbs, enough sugar, you know? Carbs, sugar, sugar, carbs, enough sleep, not more. Yeah, not more training, enough training to get the desired effects. Because more might be too much training, and then you're overtrained. Okay, so more isn't always better. Enough is what we're looking for here. So we have that enough mindset. I drink enough water, so I'm pissing clear every two hours during the day, winter and summer, and I find that gives me the maximum penile performance, sexual performance, maximum mental performance, sleep, recovery, digestion skin health, etc. And we drinking enough water, so I'm peeing every two hours, clear. Are you going to the toilet a lot? I, I'm going to the toilet every two hours at least. I'm pissing on the garden, I'm pissing on the trees, I'm pissing in the bushes, you know, I'm tipping on the on the trees where it's meant to be. You know, I'm contributing to the environment in a better way. And, you know, I live, I don't live a normal life, right? I don't want to, I don't want to be a normal person. I don't want a normal looking girlfriend. I don't have normal levels of fitness. I want to have Exceptional, all right. I'm into exceptional life quality, and so that water, sugar, and sleep they are the cornerstones of that you know, that trilogy, that triangle, pyramid, whatever you want to call it. Sleep, water, sugar, all right. Get enough sleep, get enough water, get enough sugar, and never ever wait till you're thirsty. If you wait till you're thirsty, you've waited too long. And now, remember, I coach and advise and influence the best triathletes the best runners the best cyclists have ever lived on the planet they follow my sleep water sugar protocols if you know you know well i don't want to win the tour de france don't you want to have a great quality of life and have energy for your kids then do what i'm saying to do when it comes to sleep water sugar 
that is the ticket.